definition of the tangential and normal components of acceleration you know what acceleration is isn't it it is the rate at which the velocity changes and you know what velocity is it is the rate of change of the motion of the curve suppose that the smooth curve is given by r of t then you know that v of t is equal to dr by dt by chain rule you can write it as dr by ds into ds by dt but you know that this dr by ds is the unit tangent vector so you can write t into ds by dt now let us see what acceleration is you know acceleration is the derivative of velocity that is dv by dt but v was equal to t into ds by dt so acceleration will be equal to d by dt of t into ds by dt by product rule you can write this is equal to the derivative of the second term into the first one that is d square s by dt square into t plus the derivative of the first term into the second that is dt by dt into ds by dt that is a is equal to d square s by dt square into t plus ds by dt into dt by dt this can be written as the first term is d square s by dt square into t itself plus ds by dt into again this dt by dt by using chain rule you can write it as dt by ds into ds by dt so this becomes d square s by dt square into t plus ds by dt into this dt by ds is familiar to you you know that the unit normal vector is defined as 1 by kappa into dt by ds so i can say that dt by ds is equal to kappa into n substituting here you have ds by dt into kappa n ds by dt that is this can be written as d square s by dt square into t plus kappa can be taken outside into there are two ds by dt so ds by dt the whole square into n now why did we do all these we did this because our definition was about the tangential and normal components of acceleration that is you have been given acceleration in terms of tangent and normal and the coefficients of the tangent will be the tangent uh, the tangential component of acceleration and the coefficient of the normal vector will be the normal component of acceleration that is uh, now you can write a as att plus ann we are just renaming it where at is equal to d square s by dt square and an is equal to kappa into ds by dt the whole square this is respectively known as the tangential and the normal components of acceleration considering the magnitude of a square you know it is equal to a dot a where a was att plus ann so this will be equal to att plus ann dot att plus ann opening the brackets this is equal to att dot att you can write it as at square into t dot t since at a particular time t at will be a constant so you can take it outside but at that particular time itself t capital t will always be a vector so you can write this as at square into t dot t plus ann dot att you can take an at outside into the vectors n dot t plus att into ann so at and an can be taken outside to get t dot n plus ann dot ann that is an square into n dot n but you know that the normal and tangent of a vector is perpendicular to each other so n dot t will be equal to 0 thus you have this term and this term equal to 0 this will be equal to at square into t dot t t is unit tangent thus t dot t which is the magnitude of t square will be 1 thus you have at square plus an square into n dot n n again is the unit normal so n dot n will be the magnitude of n square which is equal to 1 and this is plus an square thus you have magnitude of a square is equal to at square plus a 
n square or a n is equal to root of magnitude of a square minus a t square. But a n was equal to the curvature into d s by d t the whole square and finding curvature you know is a long process. Now by using this formula you can easily find out a n without finding out kappa. This you will understand more clearly when you do the problems. Next is a note which says that you know that ds by dt is equal to magnitude of v. Do you remember we said that ds by dt was the speed of the given curve that is it is the magnitude of v. And also at is equal to d square s by dt square which can be written as d by dt of d ds by dt which is again equal to d by dt of magnitude of v. That means at can be written as d by dt of magnitude of v. And an was equal to kappa into ds by dt the whole square which is equal to kappa into magnitude of v square. This is again a simpler definition of the components of tangential and uh, normal components of acceleration.